Hey, it's Jeannie Marie Blah. I want to take a walk with your angels and joyflames.com. Wanted to cover something that's been coming up a bit for some people uh, regarding what's going on if I'm jumping from my current reality and I'm going into this desire reality and I can't see <laughs> what I want. What's going on? If I'm here and I can see all this stuff that I don't want, what's going on when I jump and I can't, I can't get a clear picture at all. <laughs> so, the next sentence you probably would be saying to yourself is, man, do I feel stuck, <laughs> right? So what's happening is you might think you're jumping, but you're not really. You're, you might be getting into here, not really getting into the quantum fields. You're not really allowing yourself to feel and sense and be thrilled in that excitement of what this desired reality would be for you. <laughs> so you might be jumping, but maybe you are like a little baby duck that just kind of gets a little bit off this current reality, but doesn't quite get into your quantum fields and into your desired reality. Because this is all no lack, no limitation, no resistance whatsoever. So you'll know if you actually land here because you'll start being very aware and awakened to what that is. What is it when you're infinite? What does it mean when you can do anything? When you can be anything? When you can all of a sudden have a memory of something when you were seven years old that you said, I'm going to play the guitar. And you didn't remember that till you did this. You forgot all about it. You got, you know, got busy with life stuff. And then all of a sudden you're here and you're going, that's weird. I just had a memory. That's what these jumps are all about. So if you're feeling really stuck, here's the kicker. <laughs> you're staying here. You keep looking at all the stuff that's not working. You're not giving yourself an opportunity to really desire that's the question. So that's the ultimate question. If you're here and you're hating on a lot of things or one thing or a half a thing and you're going, what's the, what is going on? Why? That's the question to ask yourself. Why am I not allowing myself to live my desired reality? Why am I not even allowing myself to see it? <laughs> so got that? So that's the thing when you feel really stuck and really lodged in there into this world here, this thing that feels so real, because it's the current reality, right? <laughs> that you cannot make hide nor hair of what is going on in these quantum fields. What is your desire really? What does your perfect mate look like? What does, what does your life feel like when you're living it in that most desired reality? You're stuck here. You're ruminating, you're dwelling, you're spiraling here. So again, the main question is, why would I not be allowing myself to see or feel my desired reality. Yep. Just that alone is a kicker of a question. <laughs> and the minute you start saying, holy, wait, hold on. I am going to allow myself to live my desired reality. In fact, I'm going to do it now. Like, I'm not going to wait five years from now when I'm out of this and done with that and have that certification and, you know, finish that job or did this, stayed tight into that contract that I promised that I would finish. <laughs> if it's not your desired reality, I urge you to consider an alternate route. Why? Because if we stay in this current reality in a bunch of mucky muck and we don't let ourselves out of it, it will start to reveal itself very strongly. Maybe not at first, but it will start to kick in. And how it reveals itself is a car crash, an illness, a dis-ease that gets diagnosed. Um, it, it, re it tries to come up and, and really knock us on the head and say, hey, you're not liking this. Let yourself live your dreams. Let yourself see what is that desired reality. Let yourself start creating it, right? So again, if the question is, why am I not allowing myself to live my desired reality? Then start laughing and being light about it because if you don't let it be funny to yourself and you keep it all serious and really embedded, <laughs> you'll see a lot of years go by like that. Take care. This is Jeannie Rublaha with TakeWalkWithYourAngels.com here in Colorado for walks in person or available worldwide. And I'm also on JoyFlames.com or here on YouTube. It's free. Take care. Love you lots and happy quantum leaping with your angels.